and uh, we are continuing on our journey to learn about uh, APG API management platform provided by Google and uh, in our last tutorial uh, we created a employee backend API and uh, using a spec uh, where we imported uh, a swagger file swagger definition for our API and then uh, we created uh, this uh, API proxy um, so today uh, what we are gonna do is we are going to add a API key a validation uh, where we will validate a key provided uh, to access this API and uh, also what I'm going to show you how to do a trace check on uh, this API so let's uh, first start with a trace check so basically what trace is uh, you can uh, start a trace session and any call that is made to your api will be uh, getting traced here so uh, let's uh, try to call this api um, and see how this trace works so i'm going to get my postman and uh, so postman is a tool where you can uh, do your uh, http request uh, for REST APIs so I'm going to put this and I'm going to make a call so here you can see that bunch of data came back uh, with the employee response and uh, that's uh, all right uh, but let's suppose there was an issue and uh, we want to find out what is happening with our uh, calls so what we can do is uh, go and click on this start trace session and it's going to start that trace session and uh, now the trace session is up and any request you make uh, either from an external tool or from this uh, um, handy little uh, place where you can make call so let's make a call from here and see what happens so it's going to make this call and here you can see uh, this is my trace session for my call, api call and it gives us a bunch of information if it was a, there was an error it will show that error and it shows uh, how much time it took and this is not only for this and even if I make request from postman that session will also be tracked so yeah here it is so this is the second call which I make from postman and uh, that also is getting traced here so you can get bunch of information like uh, what kind of headers information was there uh, how much time it took and uh, you can uh, add like calls or uh, see what happened to your request response during that whole uh, uh, request and response cycle so uh, why we are talking about this is uh, we will see this trace session again in a while so i'm going to stop this and i'm going to go back to develop and we are going to add uh, a pro policy in our uh, request uh, uh, proxy endpoint so i'm going to click on step and i'm going to add a key validation so we are going to add a api key validation so as we saw in our first tutorial also it's uh, kind of similar so i select this uh, policy verify api key and I add this and uh, once I save this we are going to start seeing some errors if we make call to our uh, uh, API so let it save and once it is saved it will auto deploy your API spec or the, your proxy uh, definition on the server and uh, you can if I go back and make the same request again I'm going to get this uh, validation failed error and uh, let's go back and see how this uh, gets traced so I'm going to start another session so new session has started and let's make the same request again and here you see so it's showing that the, there was an error response and uh, where the request got terminated at what step and it says that execution error and verify API key policy had a OAuth uh, uh, version 2.0 and the proxy request and it failed. If I click on this, it will tell you more information that there was no key and that's why the request was failed. So as of now, we don't have a key to call this and in our uh, uh, 
uh, next tutorial we are going to see how we can create this uh, API key um, and for that we will first go and create a developer portal so finally we are at a point where we can create a developer portal and then uh, we can uh, register a developer there and then that developer can create a new app where he can select how to get this uh, um, uh, key generated so we'll see you in next uh, tutorial where we are going to create that developer portal thank you so much